I hit some flies last week and now they're gone. What are they? Well, I can't see it out loud. Brandon. He's got his own personality that, that is, in, in one way it's humble, but on the other it's, it's completely out there on his own style. And I know when his hair is sticking up that it's just getting better and better. So what we're gonna do, we're just gonna keep fishing. And when it gets late, we're gonna stop. He cut his teeth up in Alaska. And so it's, you know, there's something about somebody that must come from that area that's, that's just plain rugged. Lived there till I was 18 and went to Montana to go to college. Um, drove down to Montana with three buddies in an old Volvo station wagon and went there for six years. <laughs> Brandon's been guiding for Will for a few years now. He started rowing scenic trips for Snake River Angler, but Will quickly realized Brandon belongs in a drift boat. There's just certain people, you gotta get them on the water because they're, they're, it's where they're supposed to be. I helped him buy his first boat, um, and it was an awful boat. But he wanted something that was cheap, and boy, did he get one that was kind of a funky looking, sorta uh, half drift boat, half duck hunting boat. I got a bathtub for 2,500 bucks that came with a free fillet knife. And uh, <laughs> this turned out to be probably one of the best guides I've ever worked with. He just sees what's going on in the river that, uh, you know, you can't teach that to people. They either get it or they don't. He's got it. I learn more by getting people who aren't good fishermen fish than by me going out and fishing. He loves it. I mean, he's just another one of those guides that loves it. If you spend a day on the water with Brandon, it's clear he's out there because he loves it but he's also out there to earn a living, and most of what a guide earns comes from tips. Unfortunately, they're not always money. I took out this private trip, you know? It was a doctor's office in from IF, and the woman was the doctor's wife that, that was kind of in charge of it all, and a bunch of their employees, there's like 10 of them. And I'm like, sweet, they didn't pay for their trip, you know, doctor covered it. I'll probably get, you know, five or 10 bucks from everybody, it'll be a great tip. And she hands me four bags of beef jerky at the end of the day. She's like, we've got a beef jerky company. I just figured a young guy like you would appreciate it. And I'm like, oh my God. I wish I had the balls to say I'd appreciate a hundo in my hand, but I can never say like that. I'm too nice. The tip is a tip. It's extra money that they choose to give you, but a 25-year-old guy wants some cash. He doesn't want beef jerky. On a day off, Brandon, Will, and a few other guides drag the shop's rafts to a nearby canyon for a float not many anglers have the stones to try, for obvious reasons. For Mr. Rattlesnake. You know Jesse that comes in the shop? You know Jesse that comes in the shop? I can't forget who he guides for. Bigger dude, goatee. We saw him this morning, and he was saying that one of his buddies flipped his ra raft in one of these rapids the other day. We went down what I refer to as the death slide. I think someone told me that's called that. Basically, like, I don't know how to, I don't know how to judge this. Probably 500 vertical feet. You know, 500 vertical at probably a 45 degree angle. Something that would be challenging to ski down if it were covered in snow. I'm good. It took a solid half hour of pushing and holding ropes to get the boats down. Okay, hold on, hold on. You got those fishy carabiners holding it? Okay, watch it. Come over here. <laughs> what? You, you don't... I don't trust my keys on those things, man. <laughs> <laughs> and he's got a boat hanging off the edge of an eight foot cliff with a Z drag of these keychains. Jesus. Yeah, <laughs> it's the only thing they've ever been good for. It blew my mind. There's a good example of Will, like, just hysterical. Trying to be prepared, but just always all over the place. That's why we love him. <laughs> How 
probably a good thousand foot drop from the top all the way in. Three good sets of cliffs to get the rafts over. We only suffered one casualty, one flip raft. Brendan's already fished for five minutes and caught an 18 inch cutthroat. You tell anyone where the we are, I'll kill you. Thank you.